This is my hobby, being an explorer. We do rural exploration, we do urban exploration also. Unfortunately, yeah, some places have been demolished, making way for you know, commercial purposes. But those places that we can still explore are still very interesting. We can still visit them over and over again. It's still timeless. I'm sure most people know about Fort Siloso, but most people wouldn't know about uh, Fort Serapong because it's on top of a hill, it's not easily accessible, and you know, people don't talk about it. Uh, Fort Serapong was made during the 1870s, along with other forts such as uh, Fort Siloso and Fort Connaught. So these three protect the trading ports in the southern part of Singapore. This is the command post that houses the uh, six-inch gun batteries. Uh. What you can see is this uh, lookout tower. It's usually there's uh, two soldiers actually keep a lookout so to prevent any of the enemies to come. After many years, when the vegetation uh, actually take over, the thing collapsed. The whole thing collapsed. So what you can see inside actually, there is one big circle. It's supposed to be a gun. Six inch gun. The Fort Sarapong is uh, one of those places that uh, is almost untouched. And uh, they can see the wear and tear, they can see some of the mechanisms, the structure. So people, if uh, hopefully they see it right, they're more appreciative uh, to take care of these uh, places. Uh. We are now at the drainage system of this uh, compound. The flooring is curved to capture all the water and all the sewage. So it will, will eventually drain out to an exit system at the end. Uh. This is quite narrow, okay. So I, I was, I was like, wondering how these British, how these soldiers actually went through here, huh? because they are big size, and then it's quite narrow. And then you know the way how the design is like, you know, like Indiana Jones, you know, like them of doing the maze, you know, it's like cool. You know? If you are claustrophobic, please reverse. <laughs> please reverse your way. Do not enter at all, because it will be a long way out. I've been to Fort Siloso, so, you know, for those uh, guided tours, and uh, it looks too nice. Uh, it doesn't look like the original setting for wartime. For Fort Serapong, it's interesting because we still have some parts of it that we have not discovered. It's a very big hill. I think I've been there for at least at least five times. Uh. We go there to explore and you know make sure uh, nothing's missing. You know, there's no vandalism. No, it never never gets boring. Yeah, it's it's one of those uh, places that, that you seem to discover a little bit more about, about it every time you step inside. Now we are at the main command post, the casemate, consisting of uh, office and uh, storage spaces. So this is the main one where all the big bosses will be here. All the generals, the soldiers will be here. They will be in charge of the two gun batteries, the 8-inch and the 9.2-inch gun battery. It was finally used in 1942 during the Battle of Singapore. Further up, there's a pillbox. That's the top of Fort Serapong itself. Now we had the 9.2-inch gun placement. This is above the casemate. This is the screws for the placement of the guns to stabilize it. It will be facing the south of Singapore. For Sentosa, yes, for me, it has become too urbanized. It has become a place for resorts and gambling. And the history of uh, Sentosa and all this uh, is slowly being removed. We just uh, came down from here. Okay, what is this? What this thing is is the opening to transfer the 9.2 inch uh, shells. From here, this is the ammo storage. Then we transfer it here. We bring it up here. Carry around four four people carry. Then they transfer to the trolley and some and, and such, and uh, transfer to the pulley system where they will bring it up on top to the 9.2 inch gun battery. It's risky, of course, because the place is is not totally stable. Yeah, so people who want to explore here, they should uh, approach our group because we work closely with Sentosa. Uh, if you go alone, things can happen, especially those not familiar with the architecture. So our group has been there so many times. So we can provide uh, some safety and you know, uh, we can provide some history so that they can fully enjoy this fortress. There are many other forts also that are not explored. One in particular is Fort Connaught. Currently it's inaccessible. Yeah. 
due to you know there's a golf course there. So we are trying our best to you know, get access. I don't think I will be ever be bored going to Fort Serapong again. I think I can go there unlimited times because we've only discovered only 20 around 20% of the fortress.